Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from WinkSound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the envelope in your clip in Ableton. So uh, check it out. Okay, uh, the clip envelope editor uh, really lets you do some cool stuff within the clip itself. Um, it'll let you mod modulate it, um, fix your mixing parameters or your device parameters uh, within the clip. So here we have a little drum loop selected. And uh, right down here with this E button, you can bring up your envelope editor. Um, so what you have here is a clip and mixer and uh, whatever else effect you might have uh, in that particular track. Um, you have some quick buttons here for transposing, volume, and panning. So the transpose will pitch up or depitch your your clip. So it'll sound like this. And it works just like automation. You just gotta double click on the red line and or highlight a particular area and then bring it up and bring it down however you want. So um that's transposing. Uh volume works the same way. If you want one part quieter and the rest a little louder, you just do that, bring it up. So that's the volume and the pan works the same way. Um there's also a cool little thing called sample offset, which works uh, best if you are using uh, beats for your sample warping. And uh, that'll work uh, for some like beat juggling or whatever you want to do with your drums. So I'm gonna just gonna sample offset this little clip right here, this little part of it. And uh, you know, you can mess around with that do some cool stuff. Um, the linked button here is pretty useful. Uh, it will link whatever uh, whatever you've done, like for instance this transposition, it'll link it to only the clip, you know, in the braces here. So every time it loops over, it'll start all over. Um, so I'll play this over and over and, you, and you'll see how it starts from the beginning. When the clip starts from the beginning, the envelope also starts from the beginning. But you could unlink it if you want the, if you want your envelope editing to um, go farther than just the clip itself and uh, encompass um, the track, you know. So if I unlinked volume, and let's say I want to fade out this clip, but it's it's gonna loop eight times. So if I just faded it out when it was linked, it would fade out and then start all over again when the clip started. But I want to fade it out over time. I can drag it out further than the parameter of the clip and fade out. So you'll see how that works. So uh, that link button is pretty useful there. You can always get in touch with Kevin at wingsound.com as well as watch more of Kevin's videos, including these titles featuring Ableton Live, now available on demand at wingsound.com.